friends, Krista here. Thanks for stopping by Books and Jams and Happy New Year to all of you. It is January 1st, 2019, a new year, a clean slate, a fresh journal, a blank page in the notebook, all of the exciting things that a new year brings. And I'm excited for what this year will bring for you and for me and for this channel and for my reading life. <laughs> and thanks for being along for that journey. If you've been around my channel for any length of time, you know that my owned TBR, books that I own that haven't yet read, is a massive number. It's close to 600, if not 600, which is huge. So looking in my library, there are just way too many choices. So what I'm gonna do each month is pull out books into this room, which I've never shown you this room. I have shown you my library room, but this is the room where I actually read. It's more like a little nook or a den right across from me. Across from me over there is a chair and another shelf that I keep like crochet stuff on some books. And on top of that shelf is where I'm going to be keeping my TBR potentials for the month. So I have a couple different categories of books that I'll be showing you each month uh, of ones that I'm going to pull out from my big library and put into this room where I actually do most of my reading at this point. It's just going to be the ones that are in front of me that I see all the time. So first of all, right behind me, you can see little glimpses, is my series shelf. So on top of this bookshelf are books that are the next ones in a series. And I will be doing a whole video of the books I own, series that I haven't completed. That's going to be coming shortly. Also on the shelf behind me are all of my Fiction Guild books. So all of these books have been sent to me by the Fiction Guild and are not yet read. Once I get read, I add them to my Christian Fiction bookshelf. So these are also ones that I might choose from throughout the month. Over on the other bookshelf is where I will put all of the books that I show you at the beginning of the month that are ones that are potentials for me to read. And then you'll just have to stay tuned to other videos throughout the month and my wrap ups at the end of the month to see which ones I do end up turning to. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited to switch things up a little bit. I'm hoping that you don't mind that I'm not just going to show you the five books I plan on reading. I'm trying in 2019 to keep things a little more free, a little more open, give myself a little more wiggle room to mood read. However, <laughs> there will always be at least one or two books that I'm definitely planning on th throughout the month, whether I have a buddy read planned, um, but also because of my Goodreads read along group. So that's the book I will start with. And that for January is The Bear and the Nightingale by Katherine Arden. I'm very excited to finally get to this. I did want to hold off until winter because it feels and looks like the perfect winter read. This is sort of fairy tale esque and I believe it's even based on some Russian fairy tales, but I honestly don't know very much about the plot. I just know it has pretty mixed reviews. I know some people that find it very slow and they couldn't get into it, but then others who absolutely love this and the other book that's already out, The Girl in the Tower. So I'm looking forward to seeing what I think. And this is my Goodreads read along pick for the month for Books and Jams read along. The link will be down below. If you also, like me, have not read this one yet, you didn't jump on the hype train when it was super popular, definitely pick this up and join us in that read along group on Goodreads. Also each month, something new that I'm gonna be doing is pulling from my shelves books that have the same kind of words or word in the title. And I got this idea sort of because of Lala. She's doing a readathon every year or a couple times a year. I think it's called the One Wordathon or something like that where you just pick books from your shelves that have the same word in the title. And I loved that idea and I thought that would be a fun way to kind of randomize and pull out some books from my shelves. So for winter, I pulled out books that have the word snow or winter on them. <laughs> so I have here The Evaporation of Sophie Snow. This one is somewhat dystopian, somewhat reminds me of Ready Player One. There's some virtual reality elements going on and this girl, Sophie Snow, has to look out for her brother who has some medical condition. So this is a Christian fiction, but it's also YA fantasy and sounds pretty interesting. And if I really like it, I do have the next one on my shelves right here, <laughs> Reclaiming Shiloh Snow. So if I like this one, I have another one to follow up. I also have The Paris Winter, which is by Imogen Robertson, and this is a historical fiction. It's about this young girl who escapes to Paris from England, and I'm not sure what she escapes from, but while she's there, she finds herself quickly running out of money, 
and becoming a little bit destitute. She kind of stumbles on this opportunity to become a companion for this woman named Sylvie and gets entangled in the lives of Sylvie and her brother Christian and they are kind of type of people that not everything is quite as it seems. So I love historical fiction. Winter is a nice time to read it especially if winter is in the title. <laughs> I have another uh, YA fantasy type book and that is Stitching Snow by R.C. Lewis and this is a Snow White retelling which I'm always down for a good retelling. And finally on that pile is The Heiress of Winterwood by Sarah Ladd. And this is another historical fiction. I've talked about this recently. This one takes place in 1814 in England and this woman kind of agrees or promises her friend that she's gonna care for her baby because her friend is very ill. Her friend ends up dying and she holds true to her promise and cares for the baby along with her friend's husband. However, the baby ends up going missing. And so together they have to figure out what happened and where is this baby. Okay, I have to talk less about these books because I still have a big pile here. I have two books out from the library currently and so I will have those out on my shelf that I see all the time. And that is Mary B by Catherine J. Chen, which is a Pride and Prejudice retelling that focuses on Elizabeth Bennett's little sister, Mary, who is quite annoying in Pride and Prejudice and socially awkward in all of the movies and adaptations in the book itself. So I look forward to reading a book that kind of comes from her perspective. That should be a lot of fun. And also out from the library right now, I have Kate Atkinson's transcription. Now I have not read anything by Kate Atkinson. She has a couple books out. This is about a young girl who at the age of 18 is recruited to be a spy. It takes place in 1940, so right during World War II. So anything when I hear World War II historical fiction, I'm totally down for that. I heard this talked about on Anne Bogle's What Should I Read Next? She recommended this to someone and so I noticed it first there, but then I've been seeing it kind of everywhere. So grabbed it from the library. Last January, I wanted to start out the year by reading all of the short books on my shelves. So I thought I would pull out any short books that I didn't finish last year and any that I've accumulated during the year. And so by short, I mean anything kind of less than 250 pages except middle grade. I'm keeping those separate for March, but I do have a pile here of some short books. I'm not gonna talk about any of these, but I will show you what's in the pile so that you can see um, what options there might be for for me during the month of January. So I have The Cellist of Sarajevo by Stephen Galloway, March by Geraldine Brooks, which I believe is a little women retelling or like additional story, more about the husband from the March family, How I Live Now by Meg Rosoff. And if I don't read this in January, this is probably going to get unhauled because I haven't really wanted to pick this up at all in a long time. Between the World and Me by Tana Hesse Coates, which if I'm looking for a nonfiction this month, this might be a perfect pick. Mr. Pip by Lloyd Jones. It's about a man who lives on this island, tropical island that was shattered by war and pretty much all the white people live, leave and he stays and ends up teaching the school and reads a good amount from Great Expectation to the kids, which sounds really good. I have Buddha in the Attic by Julie Atsuka. Don't know anything about that. And Balzac and the Little Chinese Seamstress by Dai Suji. I don't know how to say that name. The Couple Next Door by Sherry La Pena. Chronicle of the Three Bloodline, which is a fantasy trilogy. Steve Martin's The Pleasure of My Company. And That Part Was True by Deborah McKinley, which I believe is a novel about pen pals and food. <laughs> so that sounds really good. The final pile that's going to be on my shelf for the month of January um, are books that were recommended by you guys. My only 2019 goal this year is to read books that you guys recommend to me. So in my video, which I will link up above somewhere, um, you guys re were so fantastic. I think I have 105 recommendations already and I'm very excited about those. So I went through the list, I put them all into a spreadsheet and these are some of the ones that were the most requested that I read. Actually, these two. So these two, Memoirs of a Geisha and We Were the Lucky Ones, both had four people recommend them. So these are the highest recommended so far. This is a World War II historical fiction, but it's about Georgia Hunter's family. I also heard about this on What Should I Read Next podcast. And another historical fiction 
Memoirs of a Geisha, which I have heard so many, so many good things about, and I can't believe that I haven't read this yet. But also getting three recommendations each. Um, there were a few more, but I pulled out Kindred by Octavia Butler and Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty. So I have quite a pile. <laughs> there are quite a few books here. I honestly don't know what I'm going to get to this month, and I don't care. That's fine with me. I know I'm going to get to The Bear and the Nightingale. That's the only thing. Everything else is totally up in the air, and I love that. I'm so excited about that kind of freedom. But these are the books I'm going to choose from, so stay tuned for, um, I usually do about one reading vlog weekend during the month, and also wrap-ups at the end of the month. Stay tuned to see what it is that I pick. If out of all of these there's something that you're dying to know what I think, Please comment about that down below or anything else if there's any of these that you've read that you really liked. Um, if you want to buddy read any of them with me, I'm not going to load myself down with buddy reads, but I'm definitely open to chatting about it. So, I and clearly I'm not going to get to all of these this month. So we're going to see where things go. I don't know. But stay tuned for all of that. Comment down below. Let's chat. And I will talk to you soon in another video. And Happy New Year. Bye.